Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Cole and I'm the author of Time to Roar. It's my first picture book and it's illustrated by Jessica Gibson. And I'm going to read it for you today. Every animal has a place where they feel at peace. And for Sasha, it was the meadow at the heart of the forest. Each morning before the sun rose, the smell of green was like a song she knew by heart. She would sit in the dark and quiet and enjoy the feeling of being a bear. But one morning, it was not dark, it was not quiet. Sasha stood on the hill as great yellow beasts tore into the meadow. Silver teeth slashed at the trees and metal feet shook the earth. They will keep cutting, the squirrel said sadly, and the forest will be no more. I must save the meadow, Sasha said. And she started down the hill toward the yellow beasts. But the squirrel stopped her. Don't go roaring, he said. We should call the animals together and discuss what is to be done. Sasha knew her roar was mighty, but maybe the squirrel was right. He climbed a tree and chattered the song that all animals know. The animals came out one by one. When they had gathered, the squirrel began to speak. Machines have come to our forest. What can be done? I will stop them, Sasha growled. No, no, said the bluebird. Let me sing to them sweetly. That will make them think twice. The bluebird winged down to the meadow, chirping a pleasant tune. He flew in loops around the machines. But the metal clamor drowned out the sweetness. The crashing of trees made Sasha tremble. Next, the rabbit hopped forward. I will thump my foot against the ground and distract them, the rabbit said. Yeah, thumping his foot. The rabbit hopped down to the meadow where blades cut through clover. The rabbit raised her strong back foot and thumped hard. But the ground was already quaking beneath the machines and no one heard. This time the deer jumped up. I will stop them, said the deer. I will be fast and lead them away from our forest. But when the deer leapt into the meadow, the yellow beasts only rolled on and on, tearing up the grass and soil. We must hide, the squirrel said. It is the only way that we will survive. Sasha gazed down as the forest around them became more broken. Soon her meadow wouldn't be a meadow at all. Inside her, anger welled up, sparkling. Maybe it was stronger than yellow beasts. She lumbered down the hill toward the meadow. She thought of the ways the other animals had tried to save the forest. She knew what had to be done. It wasn't sweet. It wasn't a distraction. It wasn't running. It wasn't hiding. Sometimes a bear had to raise her voice. Sasha roared. Then she roared again. She roared until the yellow beasts shook. She filled the meadow with her bellow. I love this page. When Sasha stopped, the world was very still. And then the ground began to quiver, this time as the yellow beasts fled. Sasha stood alone in the meadow. The ground was torn from the teeth of the machines, but shook no more. She knew Clover would grow again one day. The other animals came out from the forest. Singing sweetly did not work, chirped the bluebird. I could not distract them, said the rabbit. Running did not lead them away, said the deer. I was wrong, said the squirrel, and hiding was not the answer. Sasha smiled at the setting sun. Soon the grass would glimmer with dew. You weren't wrong, friend, Sasha said. Sometimes you must sing sweetly. Sometimes you must run and distract. And sometimes you must hide to survive. But sometimes, she said, settling herself on the ridge with a happy sigh, you must be a bear. 
Sometimes you must roar. The end. There's the cover. Thank you to Jessica Gibson for this beautiful, beautiful work. And thank you to all of you for listening.